Hey everyone, before this video begins, I just want to quickly say this Saturday would be exactly five years since I started uploading videos on YouTube. And yeah, I want to celebrate. Be sure to check out the end of the video so I can explain what's happening. Alright, now on to your feature presentation. Back to you, Pass Locky. Hey everyone, so first things first, elephant in the room. Not, I'm not in my studio. This is because the entire, all the power in the house is out and well, that means there will not be any light in the studio. It'd be a dark mess. So I have to do this video now. So on to the point, as you know from the title, I have found the third wave of the Geogon of Bakugan, which is surprising. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find all of the wave at this point. Hopefully, by the time this video is uploaded, I would have found every single Geogon of this wave. So, right now, there's just three video, three of the Geogon, and hopefully after, I might have the rest. So, let's just get to it. All I was able to find was Pyrus, Emperog, Ventus, Insectia, and Chaos Hyenas. Now, I did not know this until I found these two, but apparently there's another giant Bakugan. And I checked, it's called Ultimate Vylock, or Vylock Combiner. And it's like Max's Helios. Yes, I checked, it was Max's Helios and Max's Dragonoid anyway. Like Max's Helios, you can buy this version separately by buying all the Geogon and the Vylock Core. Sorry. Or you can buy the whole big, massive toy when it comes out. I, I'm gonna do both because the massive toy is all Orless. So I'd rather do that because I want more Orless cards. So I'll get to those two in there, but I think we should open Hynix, Hynix first, which normally I go for the Pyrus ones first, but I think leave these two for last. Oh, and I did check, I did check. This wave comes with Diamond Marchipard, Orlus Mutasek, Darkest Stingzer, and an Aquas Baradrill. Baradrill is the third of this lot, and there's like seven. So, and there's no news about when the rest are gonna be released. So, anyway. So the last Hynix I got had a crap ton of bee power, and yeah, this Hynix did not beat that record. Seriously, if you get Ventus, I recommend everyone get Ventus Hynix. It has a crap ton of V-Power. Like, it's like the strongest Bakugan toy you can get to date. Oh my god. So, alright, let's get all these out. Avoid that. Actually, you know what, since this is like a new wave, maybe there's a new toy listing. Let's have a look. Oh, there is! There is! This is a new one. We're keeping this. This is a brand new one. So let's see what we got. Uh, whoa. There's a Dragonoid of, ooh, wait, there's an Elemental Dragonoid? There's a Diamond and Elemental Dragonoid in Core. That's awesome. Uh, what else, what else? Ooh, Krakenoid's coming out, that, that's cool. A Diamond Vylock, so that's what we need for that lot. A diamond Cornelius, wow. Crystallion is getting a diamond and an elemental? Harperion's getting a diamond? Oh, I wonder what's out. Ooh. Oxidox. What the heck is an Oxidox? Spearfin? Uh, Ninjaton? Orotora? Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's getting a diamond. Jetra? And Behemoth. Okay, what about the Geogun? Vibragon's gain a diamond. Wow. What else? What else? Uh, what, let's see. Stingzer's gain a diamond. Wow. I'm not gonna read them all out. Just want to see what's coming out. All right. So ultras. Ooh, Serpilius. That looks cool. I want that. Demorks gain a diamond. I can't find its elemental. Fenica's gain an elemental. Why is it the pirate symbol? Toranoid, I that looks cool. I want that. Pensator is getting a diamond and ultra. Cool. Nilius is getting a diamond and ultra, and something called an Aphorix. Okay, okay. We got a whole bunch of new Bakugan to hunt. So let's have a look at Hyenix now. Cost three energy, 1800 B power, one crit, and I still don't know what that does. 
I still don't know. And I, I honestly forgot about this ability. <sighs> Soak bolt barrier. 900B power and allows you to search. I forget they come with two abilities, my bad. So let's start with the Sky and Frog. So let's have a look at him. He's like a brand new toy right here. He actually looks cool. Uh, damn, I, I really wanted to see. Let's see if I can attempt to close him. It's like the Geoforge. Oh, I think I stuffed up. I think I stuffed up. So let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, got him. Oh, he's like a pentagon. That's a cool design. All right, let's see what it's like. Let's see what he's like. All right, so that's our gate card. Ability is Searing Strike with 400 B power and Enfrog, four crit. 1800 V-Power, 6 crit, and yeah, it costs... What the heck is that ability? The T does a team attack! Oh my god! It forces a team attack! Because you would have to wait 3 Bakugan, 3 open Bakugan get a team attack. And oh my god, this must be a way how Geogun can get team attacks now. Because I've always wondered, how can we do a team attack with Geogon? Now we know how. Oh my god. Good froggy. This is a good froggy right here. Anyway, let's have a look at Insectia now. So here's Insectia, new Geogon, 1400 B power. It's kind of like a dragonfly. I kind of like the design. Let's see if I can close it up. Okay, I think I might have stuffed up at some point, but that's probably fine. Yeah, so that's how you, that's how it looks closed up. It's kind of like a block. Yep. Oh, wow. Wow. Alright, so, of course, gay card. Ability to come with is Sonic Scream, which grants 10 credit in search. Insectia, costs 3 energy, 1400 B power, 1 crit, lands on a helix, it gets 400 B power, 4 crit, and of course, forces a team attack. Oh! I like these new Geoforge abilities, they're awesome! Oh, wow. So, that's all I've been able to find of the third wave of Geogun, hopefully. I'd upload found more by the time this is uploaded, so... Future Lucky, your turn. Okay, real quick. I did find two more Geogon of that wave, but I found them separately. I do have the cards if you guys want to check them. You know all their stats? Hang on. Okay, so... Here's Aquas Barber Drill. Um, 1400 B power, 3 crit. Lands on the Magic Shield, gets 5 crit, 1 Frost Strike, and has the Team Attack Victor ability. And here's Aurelis Mutasek, uh, 1900 B power, 7 crit. Basically, pretty powerful Geogun. Anyway, back now to the important stuff. So, th like I said earlier, this Saturday will be the anniversary, will be five years since I uploaded a, my first YouTube video, which was the Dark Side of Dimensions Booster Box. Uh, and I do want to celebrate. One celebration I had was finding the Dark Side Dimensions booster box, but it got expensive. Luckily, I have other ideas. One idea is that I'm planning to change the channel name because, as you know, the channel has been called Fenrir for so long, but I feel like it's time to change the name of it. I was either thinking either Lock Vlogs or Lock Reviews or Lock Cards or even just my name in general. I'll let you guys decide it below. And another thing, and this is actually the important part of the celebration, is that I'm actually going to start a new gaming channel. I've actually enjoyed doing gaming videos because of lockdown. I've done a lot of them, as you know. So I think it's time we started a new channel, and it's going to be called Lock Gaming. It will be live this Saturday, and to celebrate, I think the first video should be, well, a Smash Brawl. Everyone is welcome to join. Friends, family, quadrupeds, 
So, the channel will be live and the first video will be live also. All my game videos will be there. Basically, all my future Pokemon videos, all my future everything. And this channel will just continue with Yu-Gi-Oh, Bakugan, Power Rangers, and all that. So anyway, thank you for taking the time to watch this. Please like and subscribe and hope to see you next time.